What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Aaron aka Van Dugelmeyer. Aaron, thank you so so much for all of the support you've given me. It means the absolute world to me and it has been an absolute joy having you as a member of the herd, as a member of the Patreon. Thank you so so much for the uh, D&D game that you run for the herd members. It is always such a blast and so much fun. So thank you so, so much for uh, all the things that you do. It means the absolute world to me and to the herd. So thank you so much. And thank you for this month's request, which I'm super excited to check out because steam powered giraffe have been a ride. Uh, I never know what to expect when I'm going into a steam powered giraffe song because the two that I've heard have been so wildly different from each other. Uh, so I, and this is number three, this is my third time hearing them and I have no idea what this is going to be. Uh, the first one was this kind of really nice, smooth folksy music. The second one was like this shanty slash telltale story by them, uh, which was just so, so different and so unique and so bizarre. Uh, so I can't wait to see what this one's going to be. This is, <clears throat> pardon me, this is Malfunction. Uh, which I, yeah, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. I am going to, we're going to get into it right now. As always, please check out the original video that's linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Steel Powered Giraffe, and we're going to get into this. This is Steel Powered Giraffe's Malfunction. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we have the spine. That's rabbit, and I believe that at this stage in the uh, at this stage in the group, it's down here. Let me have a look. So we have uh, I had it. I had it before. I had it before, and now I've lost it. There it is. So we have rabbit. We have the spine, and we have uh, Hatchworth who I, I don't think I've heard Hatchworth before. I might be wrong. He might've been in one of the other ones I've done, but I don't think so. Either way, uh, no idea what to expect here. Hm. Yo, that is the creepiest remote control toy I've ever seen in my life. Period, done, creepiest. I'm I'm so sorry. Where I'm going to go all the way back here. I'm not even mad. I love what they're doing here. Um, they're like straight away. It's who am I? What am I? What's my malfunction? And everyone's holding up signs. I'm guessing this is their fans holding up signs. Uh, with just all their different things about themselves. Maybe maybe I'm a crybaby. Maybe I'm this. Maybe like I I love that that they're like saying yeah the worst parts of myself or the parts that people think aren't good and they're showing them on signs. I adore that. Yo, I have just uh, checked my messages with Aaron to confirm and I love this. Uh, it is absolutely a celebration and a, a acceptance of all the things that society looks down on. And I love that. It is such a beautiful theme for a song. Uh, this is also, so there's, it's not shocking that I didn't know Hatchworth, not only because it's my first, like I, it's only my third song of, of Steam Power Draft, but this is the first song that they release after the John left the group and Hatchworth came in. So this is kind of Hatchworth's first time. Oh, like first song they put out. I love that. Let's, let's go through this again. Yo, 
yo, first of all, Hatchworth can bring the vocals. Absolutely bring. I also love the design where the robot look adds in the mustache and it all works so well. I'm not sure because the lighting's been very intense uh, each time Hatchworth, but I'm guessing, I don't think that that beard has been colored with makeup. So that is, I'm guessing, a bright orange beard and eyebrows? Maybe it has been colored, but either way, it looks so good with the whole robot look and especially the fact that Hatchworth comes through with those uh, big notes on the word bronze when he's got that. It just, it just works so well. Um, I'm already absolutely loving not only the lyrics of this one, which is so awesome, but this one's got a great beat to it. It's actually really super catchy. Um, and yeah, the, the, the different signs have been hold, held up. Guys, I relate to too many of those too much. Like the whole scatterbrained head in the clouds, ADHD. There are so many things I was like, oh, look, they're just putting all my identifiers up there on the screen. Uh, yeah, either way, they, they are killing this song. Silver. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that so much. It seems like such a stupid random thing to have someone who sent in their dog with just a dog's breed, but y'all. I, it, it, it is it is more layered than that. And maybe I'm looking into this too deeply, but the amount of hate that pit bulls get as a breed of dog when they are one of the biggest cutie pie sweetie breeds that are out there, there is absolutely no reason for pit bulls to get the hate that they get. They are absolute sweeties. Uh, and I, I adore the fact that they've put that in there. It's just, yeah, his, his malfunction is he's stuck being a pit bull. I love that because it's just like so many of the other things that the humans are holding up, whether it's ADHD, anxiety, Asperger's, it, it, it's, it's not in my control. I, I was born with ADHD. I can't change that about myself right now. So yeah, it's exactly the same as a pit bull. It's not that Sweetie Pie's problem that he was born a pit bull. If there have been other pit bulls that have been raised badly and made into like fighting dogs or guard dogs, that's not this. That's not this puppy's problem. He's just a cutie. He's just living his life and being a good doggo. Uh, so yeah, I I love that. But that is hilarious. Sorry to pause again right away, but that thing that was in there, that sound of like the kind of mechanical air releasing type sound, was done so damn well. I want to know who did that sound effect. I love the quick fire lyrics we had through that whole section with just the rest of the band calling out certain words. That was so awesome and so well done. I want to check something as well here because, no, this was 2016. I wanted to check the year because I didn't know if this was one that had maybe been filmed in lockdown because it seems like for the most part, a lot of the stuff we're seeing is not necessarily the group all together in one place. Like we have, we, we have Rabbit here just singing to the camera in what looks like their own home uh, and in the car and things like that. And we have the other, the rest of the groups, they, they always seem to be individual in places. Uh, and then they've obviously got the fan videos of things people send in. And a lot of uh, different groups in that did those kind of fan videos of, hey, send us your stuff. We'll make a music video out of it during lockdown so that they could still have the whole like full music videos. Uh, so I wasn't sure if that was the kind of thing that was happening here, but this was this was well before that. So it's just, yeah, it, it was, I, I, I would love to know if there's an actual story behind uh, why the film clip was done this way, if there was a reason or if it's just, you know, they wanted to do it that way. So cliche, but hey, let's do it anyway. We're functioning just fine. Life. At this 
junction a dysfunction we are I love that line of your like you're functioning just fine after the whole song has been about what's your malfunction how are you malfunctioning the final like not the final message we're only halfway through the song but the message of this song is you're not malfunctioning you're functioning just fine Life, at this junction a dysfunction we are Right, first of all, first of all, right there, awful memory, great at keeping seat. This guy right here, my memory is like, I don't, I, I don't, like, it's like trying to catch water in a net. It is the worst memory ever. Uh, but I love that they have a whole section in here and you have to, you have to think that in the planning of this song and the kind of putting together of this song that Rabbit's transition played a big factor in the writing or the, or the creation of this song. And so I love that there's a whole section in there where so many of their fans are showing the transgender signs that that's what society would consider their malfunction, which it isn't. Uh, and that like, it goes to show how many people rabbit by living their truth is supporting within their fandom. Because I, I imagine that there are a lot of people who feel very supported and very seen by Rabbit's transition and the way that both their fans have embraced it and the group has embraced it and how, you know, it's it's just been done so beautifully. So I absolutely love that. I'm sorry, I can't not pause at that one there. Um, I, I went back way too far. The sign, fighting depression and winning. It's the and winning for me. Yes, you are. I freaking love that. The best shape is who you are. Raise your hand if you're not from a mold. Every strings are worth more than gold. Function away. I'm sorry. I've, I, I'm pausing so much. I'm sorry. I, I need to be able to read these because I love them. Uh, also, I'm not commenting enough on the fact that the vocals in this are stunning. Absolutely incredible vocals the whole time. But there's one here. First of all, it's backwards. Um, I, I, something writer, me, something writer with chaotic hiccups. Okay. Scared of the dark. Nothing wrong being scared of the dark. Everyone has fears. Everyone has fears. Feel the fires as they tickle your face. Watch and learn as they make you feel disgrace. Once as heroes left to work or left to hunt. Come the men and let them Yes, right there, right there. My man's holding up an Australian flag and his sign says, I say mate too much. Honestly, honestly, you like right there. There we 
we go. Fucking away. I love that little toy. It is so random, but who has one of those? It's like a dream. Oh, a different song. Okay. We're not going to listen through then in case I want to react to Scar Star Scrape later. Uh, yo, first of all, first of all, a couple of things. Number one, I said about during the film clip that they were all separated and I thought there was a lockdown thing. I kind of love the message behind that, that at the end of it, she was there with them. She, cause I didn't pick up on the fact that at the start of it, they were calling her and the two of them were together and she was separate. And I get now at the end of that song that it was her feeling broken, her feeling different, her feeling like she was malfunctioning, that she was keeping herself separated from the ones that she cared about. And it's such a cool thing at the end of that, that she's back, well, not the very end, she's back at the, her apartment. But at the end, you see the three of them together. I love that because we can be broken. We can be malfunctioning. We can be a mess. We can't shut ourselves off from the people we love and the people we care about and the people who love and care about us. That That is what we can't do. Uh, because, yo, I I, I think I, I, everyone could agree that through different stages of our lives, there would have been different things that we would have written on those cards, you know? There was a time when I was younger when all I would have written on there is asthmatic, you know? That's my major flaw. That's how I'm broken. Then I went through a stage where it would have been, you know, the fact that I'm a homosexual, you know? I would have I would have written, you know, the LGBTQA plus on there, Uh that more recently, my eating disorder, my ADHD, there are a bunch of different things that I could put on that card. And at the end of the day, they're things that we live with, they're things we fight through, they're things that make us up and make up who we are. And you can't hate a part of yourself. You have to love yourself entirely. So yeah, I got those things. They're my struggles. They're my uh, crosses to bear, but it's it's who, what makes me me. I wouldn't change it. Well, you know, I changed the eating disorder. I probably, I've got the ADHD slightly under control now, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, my, my, my being gay wouldn't change that for a second. It's who I am. And if people don't like that about me, there's, there's the door. Uh, so yeah, um, there are a bunch of different things and it's exactly the same with a, a few of the things in this video, that it's things that you can't change about yourself. They're a part of you. You can, in, you can work on them or whatever in terms of some of the mental issues or things. But at the end of the day, as long as you're seeing yourself as broken, you're not going to be able to move past those things. Uh, and then there's the other side of things where it's things like the transgender and that, where it's, you're not broken. People are telling you that you are because they're broken or they're insecure or they don't understand. And ignorance leads to fear. To, uh, it leads to fear. But yeah, um, I absolutely, absolutely love the message behind this song. I love the way the film clip was done. The, these guys are so cool and so unique and you never know what you're going to get with them. And I absolutely love that. So yeah, guys, please jump in the link in the description, support this song, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Steam Power Giraffe. Also leave me a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel. It helps out so, so much. And check me out over on Patreon where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do here on the channel. I also do weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, a monthly live stream, and at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel. So check all that out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.